Short leaves taste good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. What's that you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, with a higher BAC than your ABV, Greg, Scott, and Dan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are high in the BACs. No kidding. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. It's the Unfiltered Gentleman. Thank you for joining. Thank you for listening and spreading the word and telling friends. I'm Greg. Oh, no, that's Scott. Hey, me. And that's Dan. Yo. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I, I watched Bull Durham the other day. Uh, what, who? Bull Durham. You ever saw that movie? <laughs> no. ba- that's Kevin oh, Costner's Kevin other Costner. baseball movie. Yeah, yeah, he's like an old timer in the minor leagues, and he calls everybody Meek. Oh, does he really? He has multiple yeah. baseball movies. That. He does. Yeah, he does. He loves well. some baseball, man. Man, if I was like a filmmaker, I'd just make a bunch of beer movies. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just a bunch of movies about me getting drunk all yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'd have Kevin Costner with baseball. You got Woody Harrelson with basketball, and then yeah. you'd have you with beer. That, that'd yeah. be great. It could be in my own little franchise. Though. Bang, bang. Yes. So welcome in the Unfiltered Gentlemen. Uh, big news. We have made it to Batch 100. What? Yes. Batch 100, everybody. Yeah. Oh, man. That's right. Give yes. it up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, close to my age. I know. We're, we're, we're trying to catch up. <laughs> Maybe another two more years. We'll catch uh, up with Scott's more, yeah. age. <laughs> yes. So uh, thank you all for sticking with us along this ride so far. For the new listeners, thanks for joining Yes. Yes. Um, Perfect timing. It is a good time. Yeah. yeah. We're just hitting our stride, everybody. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it only the took 100 shows. Yeah. The last 99 have been crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100 shows. It's Ben Diesel from Knockaround Guy. Sorry. It's like 100 fights makes you a man. I was like, shut up, Ben. Why don't you drink your Corona? <laughs> like a weirdo. That's right. Oh, God. Uh, shout out to Sacramento. Whoa. Sacramento, California, the capital. Uh, they were the uh, they were topping the charts of listenership what? last nice. week. Yeah, so thanks, uh, NorCal. That's hella cool of you. Yes, it uh, is. Thank you very much. Uh, also, don't forget when you're on the social medias and you're taking pictures of your beers, make sure to hashtag show us your beers. Uh, we want to see what you're drinking, and you can also tag us in those pictures as well, so we can as well so we can see them. And uh, rate and subscribe on iTunes slash Apple Podcast. If you even if you don't use Apple Podcasts, go on there, leave us a rate and review. The way the algorithm works, it helps people see us and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start doing a thing where we read out people's five star reviews on oh, the nice. show. Yeah. So we'll do our first one today. Do we have time for that? Uh, a lot of them. Yeah, that's true. Let me, <laughs> let me pause the show so we can read some. <laughs> Jeez. Just just one at a time. So anyway, okay, uh, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Enough about that. Today is the 100th episode. It's batch 100 of the Unfiltered Gentlemen. So I figured, uh, in true Tom Haverford fashion, we need to treat ourselves. Three yeah. words for you. Treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> or in this case, uh, we're going to craft ourselves. Right on. Uh, so let's craft ourselves with the first beer of the week. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend and I say. I'll have myself a beer. I will indeed. This was a controversial pick, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I had this once before. Somebody brought it to uh, a birthday I had and brought it for me to try and didn't know what I would think of it, hmm. and I ended up really enjoying this, and I thought I've been threatening for quite some time that I was going to bring a sour beer, Yeah, and I did that. I For Craft Yourself, I brought us a sour beer. You definitely felt threatened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so uh, we'll see what you guys think in a second. What I, I'll tell you about the beer first. What I brought was Celador Ales. The beer is called Plus Plus Good Centennial. So Plus Plus Good is the line of beers, and this one was dry hopped with Centennial hops. Uh, it's a barrel aged wild ale, dry hopped like what I said. Like, like I said, with Centennial, it's got six point four percent, has a three point nine nine on Untapped. Not enough reviews on beer. I have to get only two. Mm. So, uh, nothing on BA. Uh, from the brewery says this is the third release in the Plus Plus Good series. The first two were Mosaic and Citra. For now, we have four releases of this beer planned. It's sort of an experiment in aging lengths. All four releases will be from the same batch of beer, aged for different amounts of time, and then dry hopped with different single varietals. 
Blends one and two were age three and five months, respectively. The third blend was aged for nine months, and it definitely changes the flavor. The fresher, hoppy bitterness from the earlier releases has evolved into more oaky, tart, funky flavors with some reinvigorated citrusy notes from the dry hopping. Uh, this beer is packaged from two 300-liter French oak red wine punchins. I don't know what that is. Uh, roughly 900 bottles and a few kegs were produced. Uh, no limits. Cheers. Cheers. That was a mouthful. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Dan, <laughs> what do you think of this beer? Dude, I don't know, man. This isn't this isn't my cut of, uh, well, I don't know, the old-timey word for uh, what I'm looking for here. But, man, it, it's it's very, very sour. And I'm just not that dude, man, to be drinking sours, I guess. Like, a little too for you? Yeah, a little, a little too tart, man. Yeah, so I don't know. I can't, I can't really call it. It, it smells like it definitely like you stick your nose in there. It smells tart. Like it's got that tart smell to it. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Can, it's also followed up by a little bit of hop at the end uh, on the nose. Mm-hmm. I, I think my my palate hasn't grown that far yet. Like I just like I taste the tart and that's it, man. Yeah. Like it's just numbing for can't me. Can't get past it. I can't. Scott, thoughts? A um, little, little tart. For me, uh-huh. but I ain't pouring it out. I know neither of you are fans of tart beers such as no. Berliner Weisses or not really. Um, thoughts on the level of tartness? Um, I had worse. Yeah, I mean it's not like crazy tart, but yeah, there, there's a little bit of tart in I'll it. I'll co-sign that. Like I feel like it's it's tart. I've had tartier. Yeah, <laughs> if that's we, a word. We've had tartier on the show. Yeah. All right, interesting. I mm. like this a lot. I get a lot of citrus and like pithy yes. flavors. On the t- beyond the tart, of course. It's Definitely. Like, boom, tart. Boom. And then beyond that, a lot of citrus, like some orange and a lot of lemon, maybe some grapefruit. Uh, the end is kind of a little just hint of hop on the finish. Mm-hmm. Take it one more sip here. I'm trying yeah. to think with the end. There's like a, a, is it like a cinnamon or something at the very end? Something kind of warm. Yeah. Yeah. That might just be the, the barrel flavor. Could be, yeah. Yeah, Aging I think they, the barrel. yeah. I think that's probably what it was. Yeah, I dig this uh, a lot, and I think it's funny that you guys don't. <laughs> but it just goes to show everyone's got different palettes. That's right. There you yes. go. It's so. interesting, man. Yeah, it is. So uh, that's beer number one for... Three words for you. Treat, yo, sell. <laughs> or treat yourself. Uh, we'll Where get the in. hell is that from? It's uh, Parks and Rec. Oh, okay. You ever watch Parks and Rec? No. Tom Haverford. Oh, I love that show. Treat yourself. <laughs> oh, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, I, I highly recommend it. We're revisiting it, my, my lady friend and I. She never watched it when it mm. first was on. Oh, really? So now I get to watch great it all show. over again. That was a great show. And I love it. I was so sad when they took it off. I know. They filmed a couple episodes uh, across the street from the old studios. Oh, yeah? The old apartment. Yeah. Oh, wow. At the park there. Um, all right. So that's Celador Ales Plus Plus Good Centennial. Uh, for craft yourself, I, we got some crotch talk to get to. We have the iTunes review. We have the batch one hundred giveaway Ooh. winner that we the contest we held on Instagram. Oh, right on. Uh, sports news, all kinds of good stuff. Another good beer that I, I can't wait to me. get to. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> uh, so let's I'm just so excited right now. <laughs> let's just crack right into it <laughs> with some crotch. Have talk. a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. It is indeed. So. I don't know about you, gentlemen. I have an episode 100 size grievance to share. Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) Strap on. Oh, man. We're ready. We are going for a ride. Oh, I felt like I did. (laughs) In fact, I wish I would have. So last weekend, let me me go back to the beginning. My lady friend has a best friend that lives uh, here somewhat in the area who got married last year, late last year. That's the wedding that I went to where it was like a challenge to drink one of each of their drinks, and I, I almost hit it, but oh, I yeah. couldn't drink the cocktails because I'm a man and uh, <laughs> got pretty hammered. So they shortly after their wedding, they got pregnant and uh, did all that adult Tends things. to happen. It does. does. Learn to pull out. <laughs> yes. Well, her baby shower was last week. Oh, no. And I, from all the signs that I saw... I was safe, not having to go to this one. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, how many grievances no. have we had with you and baby shows? You and baby, yeah, yeah. Okay. Apparently, a lot. You got to been... tell your friends to stop that. Here's the biggest problem. Uh, it wasn't like she deemed this baby shower a coed baby shower. 
Her husband deemed it. Oh, no. A co-ed oh, baby it. shower. Oh, my God. Which then means, like, the men have to show up. Yes. Yeah. When did he have his testicles removed? Well, Apparently, here the, we go. I think the day of the wedding. Oh, I think God. it was the day of the yeah, wedding. That's, that's when happened. it all happens. Yeah. 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 Usually, yeah. That's, that's, that's when the surgery that's happens. Part of the that's ceremony, right. yeah. Yeah, as you leave the, the chapel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the doctor get, snips, snips. Then you yep. get that lie that the wedding ring is... Uh, <laughs> Prophylactive. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. I don't have to pull out any more grape. <laughs> That's how it works. you have to pull out because you don't get yeah. it anymore. Oh man! You know, I have a buddy who uh, did a quote unquote like co-ed baby shower. What it was is the the ladies did the normal baby shower stuff, and he took his friends to the bowling alley and got trashed. There you go. Yeah, I was like, I can get on board There's with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that. Boom. Yeah. Nope. This was all at the same location. Oh god! All, everyone's sharing activities. They oh some man! Stupid trivia thing. He's yeah. whipped. Uh, oh, pff, wow. understatement of the year. Man. Big time. <laughs> 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 Working on a new catchphrase. Yeah. Um, so I I showed up early, which you're like, why would you show up early? Well, the lady friend was one of the planners, and so if I wanted to not drive, baby I then, shower planner, I then had to get there you a couple hours move. early with her to help set up, or I'd have to drive and you know, oh, not get drunk. Oh, uh, so I showed up. I also picked out the beer. Nice. The, oh, okay, okay. New Belgium multi pack okay. from Costco. At least that was my my portion. Okay, cool. And uh, immediately just started drinking. Yes. Like when we got there, the beer wasn't cold yet. I put it in the freezer and I set the alarm. I always do that. I put it in the freezer. And I set the alarm for thirty minutes. That way, I don't forget. Not that I would ever forget beer in the freezer. <laughs> right. But like just in case I'm like dropping a deuce or something. Yeah. You don't want to forget a beer and have it explode. So alarm goes off and everyone's like, "What is that?" I was like, "That's my beer alarm. Y'all can shut the fuck up." Yeah. <laughs> and then it began. I think now I, this party can start. I do believe I had nine beers. Over the oh, nice. of, Bravo. Nice. I think it was three hours or so. So that's not so bad. Well, I mean, I, I oh. still had to watch these idiots play like baby games and stuff and, and name the baby yeah, or whatever. Yeah, but you're drinking. So. It helps. Oh, yeah. I was, Fuck that, I was drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the funny stories Play was, your little fucking games. I'm drinking over yeah. here. Drinking. That's <laughs> kind of what I do. Yeah. That? She goes, so you want to write her name down? I'm like, no. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody put down, uh, if anybody's a wrestling fan out there, they, they wrote Asuka. <laughs> <laughs> as a baby name <laughs> somebody's a wrestling fan there uh and it's spelled a-s-u-k-a so it looks if you don't know what it is it looks like it's asuka mm-hmm. and uh the guy who was reading the names out was like asuka and from the back room you're like it's asuka he's like nope pretty sure this is asuka <laughs> he's like no no Euro this there. is this is asuka he's like no i'm reading asuka it's like well you're a fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> the person wrote it you know right. what i mean you think they would know right yeah come, come on, on. So, anyways, highlight of the day was getting fairly hydrated. I mean, yes, fairly well. I was Sounds like good it. job. Definitely hydrated. Good job. Yeah. I wonder if I was more pleasant or less pleasant afterwards. You think you I are? I should bring my girlfriend in here. <laughs> Usually, you aren't. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I did get one comment about an hour in, and they're still setting up, and I'm probably like three beers deep at this point. Uh, one of the hosts was like, "Hey, you're funny when you're drunk." <laughs> It's like, don't you forget it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> don't you forget it. I'm about it. to be hilarious. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Strap on your laughing pants, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> laughing pants. It's only getting you're, better from here. You're about oh, to man. wet yourself. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Like, I always feel like when I'm doing something like that, I'll be like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to get trashed. And yeah. then I do get trashed. Mm-hmm. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, well, that went great, I think. And then it's like, how the did it go? It's like, oh, start you were such in. an yeah. asshole. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> there's like, I'm uh, taking pictures of people and somehow there's a picture of my face in there. And it's like. Yeah. I, I didn't care enough to ask. So, <laughs> no, yeah. Because uh, usually what I do is like I get my little corner and I just start drinking. Yeah, and yeah, I do their little party and I drink. And it's literally what I did. Next I, thing I know, Mars says, okay, let's go. I'm yeah. Like, okay. I didn't move from yeah. one area. Yeah. Because I was about an arm and a half's length reach from the cooler. Yeah. So all I had to do was like lean over. <laughs> grab a beer. And it was a good thing, too, because these idiots kept walking up grabbing beers what? and not closing the lid. Oh, idiots. It's like, what are you thinking? Were you born in a barn? Close the goddamn oh, lid. Yeah, yeah, right? So I was like the lid Nazi. I kept having to <laughs> yeah, close the cooler no lid. Kidding. I'm the lid police here. I know. Every close time the lid. I- and I got so mad that every time I closed the lid, I had to grab another beer. I forget to close the door to the house before I forget to close the lid on yeah. the cooler. Thank you. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Priorities. Close that lid. Yeah, fucking yeah, See, I, I usually make it right like because I want to get exercise. Right. So I'll make it the rounds. Like, I'll finish my beer. So I'll go, I'll go to the bathroom, go around, grab the beer out of the fridge, and go back to my chair. 
So I'm getting exercise while I'm drinking. That's perfect. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a little workout. It's yeah. Kanye's workout. Plan. That's why I'm in such good shape right now. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Kankles. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that was that was my Somebody weekend. Somebody help me up. Yeah. <laughs> that was my weekend. That was fucking phenomenal. Nice. At least I got trashed. True that's that. Main part. Mm-hmm. Main, main hey, part. Yeah. That's a success story. Yeah, stayed hydrated. Better than going to a baby shower with no alcohol. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. That, would, that would be miserable. You want to yeah. watch me kill myself? Oh, man. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like we said, it is Batch 100, and a few days ago on Instagram, we released our Batch 100 giveaway where the winner gets some sweet craft beer swag as well as some unfiltered gentleman swag, and then uh, Kamish Wiley of the Booze League <gasps> wanted to jump on our giveaway train. The Kamish. The Kamish, and threw in a uh, Booze League t-shirt to wow. give away with everything as well. Look at that. Yeah, nice. look at that. Did look a nice little thing yeah, over there. Riding our coattails. Right. Right. <laughs> so I, I took all the entries. I put them into a wheel. The gentleman can actually see. I did a little oh, uh, yeah. spinny wheel sure here. Uh, of course, it's Very not, professional. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's spinning. Uh, is it? Yeah, oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, there, yeah. Yes. It is spinning. I took a little video of or it. Or am I spinning? Yeah, something's spinning. <laughs> I took a little video. It will be on our social medias. But the winner mm-hmm. of the Batch 100 wait. Craft is Beer Swag me, Giveaway... Me. Yes, Scott. Oh, wait, there's a Booze League shirt. Scott, who has nah, no never Instagram. Mind. Never mind. Uh, is One Hop Mess. One Hop <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Yes, one so Hop con- Mess. What yeah. a lucky person. Yes. Congratulations at One Hop Mess nice. on Instagram. Uh, you have won the Batch 100 Craft Beer Swag Giveaway plus Booze League t-shirt. Come get the keys to your Buick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. I know, right? So uh, we'll nice. be in contact yeah, with congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yes. Man, that's and nice. Thank you, everybody, for playing and entering and it was super easy. You just had to uh, do a little comment on our Instagram. But we put those up from time to time. So make sure you follow us at The Unfiltered Gentleman on the Instagrams. And like I was saying before, I think this needs a little music. Like I was saying before. There it is. <laughs> yeah, you got to hit that music. Yeah. Uh, we are going to start reading out some iTunes reviews, five-star reviews. Make sure you guys go to iTunes slash Apple Podcasts. Leave us a five-star review. This one comes from Jumpman805. And I had to read this one now because it's very relevant to uh, an episode a week or two ago. He says, listen here, ladies and gents, prepare yourself to listen to some awesome, honest beer reviews, belly hurting laughs, and day-to-day struggles, in parentheses, crotch talk. Listening to these guys is always a pleasure. Keep up the great work, fellas. Your pal, Jumpman805. P.S. Once I'm done with this no booze challenge. That sounds awful, by the way. That challenge not accepted. I don't think we, we... Issued that challenge. Not from yeah, us. That's, that's that's not is, from us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what other podcasts you're listening yeah. to. Right. Yeah, but you need to quit them immediately. No kidding. Since so once I'm done with this no booze challenge, we gotta get together for an orange bud light, a chicken burger from Burger King. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, and it says you you really need to listen to this show to fully understand, folks. And that's right. right. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> go <laughs> back <laughs> an episode or two and yeah. hear about Don Don Dance. <laughs> or Don. Or Don. Hey Don. Uh chicken burger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my hatred for Burger King. Yeah, his fiasco. It's alive and well. <laughs> yeah. God. Nothing grosser than Burger King. True that. Yes. So uh thank you, Jumpman yes. eight oh five for the sweet ass. Great review. review, thank you. Yeah. And yes. you guys go to Apple iTunes, search for the unfiltered gentleman and leave us a nice little review and maybe we'll read yours on the show as well. Perhaps. All right. <laughs> Let's talk a little sports. Hmm? And now the sports brought to you by cleaning up the glass dot com. Whether it's the Baltimore Chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. It is indeed. The finals are finally over. About boy, time. Was, boy, was that the boy. most boring series of the entire playoffs. Did that playoffs? take forever or what? Oh, God. Yeah. Slowest four games I've ever seen. It really was. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't even watch game four. Oh, oh, like, I mean, it was already over. Yeah, it was, it was over going into it, and I didn't give a shit. I was watching it, on, not watching, but keeping up on my ESPN app, and I thought if at any point... It gets close. I'll go turn it on, but mostly didn't give a shit. Yeah. No, I, I watched it, but I already knew what was going to happen. Yeah, right. I predicted it, and then it came true. Yeah, yeah. probably I, the only good game out of the whole series is Game One. Yeah, correct. And, yeah. and thanks to Jr. Smith for fucking that. Yeah, up. thank you, Jr. Yeah, <laughs> and like, then of course the Cleveland fans were like, "Oh, the referees are fucked." Nah, this. nah, nah. I mean, all Jr. did was, I mean, he blew it from being a five game series because that's all it was going to be. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. That was like, yeah. I, I thought going into it, it was going to be a five game series, and once Jr. fucked that up, I go, "It's, it's a sweep. Yeah. It's over." Yeah, that was a sweep. chance. Yeah, that was the closest they were going to get. Yeah, uh, I mean. Poor LeBron, he is literally the only player on the team. He's mm-hmm. wore out. Poor he, guy. He's had to play a lot. Yeah. Where the Warriors actually have a team. 
Yeah. And it's a little easier to get some yeah, rest The Warriors have two teams. Yeah, that's To true. be honest, man. Yeah. Damn. Ah, they're so deep. It's true, man. Well, after the Game 4 loss, of course, <laughs> LeBron says, well, I've been playing with a broken hand. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because he's dumb enough to punch a fucking whiteboard <laughs> after, <laughs> after Game 1. Supposedly. I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, how, how is it he, he could play basketball without wearing a cast because he has to wear one to do a press conference? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what the fuck is that about? This is like wrestling bullshit where people come out with a cast on and yeah. take it off and hit you with it and put it back on. It was unbelievable. <laughs> I think like, Owen Hart did that a couple of times. Like, I would have bought it a little bit more had he done the press conference and didn't say anything. Nothing. And then somewhere someone saw him with a cast on. Like, what happened? He's like, oh, yeah, I was playing with a brother. Like, I would buy that. Yeah, for him it, to come it out, leaked out. Yeah, for him to come out immediately. Like, I got a cast on. He's like, shut the hell yeah. up, man. The other thing is, you remember years ago when Stoudemire punched the fire extinguisher? That's what I was going to talk Immediately, yeah. that hit social media. Somebody didn't see LeBron James hit a whiteboard? Right. Come on. Right. Yeah, exactly. And also, be a man like Stoudemire. If you're going to hurt your hand, break it open on some no glass kid. wires. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hit a stupid chalkboard yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the championships, Kevin Durant, who uh, currently is 29, says he could see himself retiring at the age of 35. Why not? The ripe old age. Yeah. How old is he again right now? 29. 29. Oof. He'll be yeah, 30 later this year. Have about, what, seven championships by then? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> right? It's over. Might as well. Might as well. Call it a career. Until they, they give him that Kobe check, where it's like, well, I'll give you another $50 million for two more years. Like, ah. All right. Right. I'll stay. I mean, look <laughs> how much stay. money he's got already. I mean, I would be tempted to retire right now. Yeah. Why, why do I want to put my body through this? You know, I I don't have to. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. but I guess if you if you love the game, you you keep doing it. But yeah, he says uh, part of playing basketball is being a student of the game, and you got to graduate sometime. Yeah, those are his words. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm such a lazy fuck. As soon as I got the you know to the money he's got, I'm be like, fuck, you guys, <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Who cares about championship? No kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and speaking of people who will never see a championship, Lonzo Ball. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Unless he goes and rides the pine in the Warriors or something. <laughs> uh, released a diss rap. I said that as whitely as possible. <laughs> against the best player on his team, Kyle Kuzma. Oh, man. I have it here. You guys just, just cut me off whenever you're tired of listening to it. Stop. Okay. Yeah. Be Jones! Who are you without ZO2? Just another dude with a bunch of tattoos. You ain't got no shoe, Nike wins, cools lose, claiming that I can't shoot, but all these words is hitting you. Boy, you talking crazy. Your face Why is you trying to play me. Yeah. You ain't on my level, you ain't famous as my baby. I'm working yeah. out daily, but I ain't posting it. And I would never stop a workout just to post a pic. You let them gas you up thinking that you're Who the fuck is he? Can we stop now? Yes, yes please. Please, oh, okay. yeah. I was waiting for someone to like wave their hands. I was, I was waiting for Dan. Or throw I'll, up. I'll or, tell you what, like... I can't tell the difference between this and good rap anyways anymore. Because good rap sucks. <laughs> it's terrible now. Um, it, it, I don't know. Like, I'm more of a fan of... Uh, there's like There are freestylists out there right now. Like There's this dude named Chris Webby who's actually really good. Okay. But all these other, like, you know, like it's like, I guess they call it mumble rap or something. And it's like, I really... It, it <laughs> is that sounds, really what they call it? Because that's what yeah, it is. He sounds just like drake to me like i don't know maybe he is actually good and the kids like this but i mean it all sounds like trash to me i doubt he's good Shaq needs to teach him how to do rap <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you, you know what this made me think of <laughs> oh god <laughs> this this rap made me think of alex trebek rapping Ooh. on jeopardy started from the bottom now we're here <laughs> started from the bottom now the whole this team is better here. yeah this is much better yeah. and have a doctor on speed dial i guess mad city Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. <laughs> Young money militia, and I am the commissioner. You don't want to start wheezy, because the F is for finisher. Panda, oh, panda, 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 panda. Panda. They mad, they ain't famous. They mad, they still nameless. But we still hood famous. Yeah, we still hood famous. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you, Alex. Who played that trick on him, poor guy? I <laughs> know, that whole rap category. <laughs> yeah. And some hero edited them all together. That's and, right. and the other thing is he's talking shit about Kuzma, who's way better than he is <laughs> the best player on the team yeah no right. shit. yeah come on but i mean you know in, in in all honesty i mean they they really fuck around with each other like a lot like him. apparently they're best friends yeah oh for Hart. reals yeah. yeah yeah they're just fucking around like him oh. Hart, kuzma they all dick around and they make fun of each other and like like when Hart hurt himself, he said, "Like I'm gonna make it back soon." And Kuzma's like, "You just hurt yourself. Like you're not gonna, you're not dead. You're not coming back from like you know, 
a serious like injury. Just right. calm down. We'll see you next season. <laughs> like you know, it's like you rolled an ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it was. You know, and they're just I don't know. They're always kind of beating each other up. Yeah. But beyond that, it's a terrible rap. Oh yeah, it is garbage. Yeah, he's he's got to stop. Stop. Yeah. It is because you shit. almost as bad as his basketball. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Yeah, not rap. Quite. Rap is yeah, slightly I mean, better. Yeah, if you had a choice, I'd stay with the rap because neither one is very good. <laughs> Indeed. Um, all right, moving on to baseball. Bad news for the Angels. Shohei Otani. Oh man, likely out to need Tommy sir, Tommy John surgery. Bad news. God man, they're talking twenty twenty. What? Missing the rest of this year and next year. Seriously? Yeah. Holy Good shit. Lord. Yeah. Well, they're talking twenty twenty. I mean, but the Angels. Are, oh no no no. He might be ready <laughs> this year. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. yeah the Angels are the that. only ones not saying he needs Tommy John surgery. Yeah, everyone right. else. Everybody is, else. Angels like his doctor included. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the angels called it like a wrist contusion or something. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, Man. or a forearm con- contusion. Well, they got like a second, third, fourth, fifth <laughs> opinion already. Yeah. It's like nope, that's what he needs. <laughs> Finally, they just sent him down to Mexico to find something. <laughs> <to show you. laughs> but I'm thinking he can hit. Can't you just at least make him a designated hitter? And yeah, but mm-hmm. I, Get apparently, yeah. Him, I guess yeah. you know. We'll see. Yeah, what a sh- what a bad news for the angels. Yeah, Ronda Rousey. Will be the first woman inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame. Well deserved. Yeah, I mean, she kind of blazed the path. For yeah, women no kidding. In yeah. the UFC, she really did. Yeah, and, and I think that's where it kind of gets confused sometimes because I mean, towards the end, she was getting she was just kind of fell blows. apart. Oh, yeah, a she little had bit. A wall. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it but, wasn't a dr- it wasn't a gradual decline. It was just like boom, boom. she was done, done. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, hundred to zero. Done yeah, son. yeah, yeah. But yeah. Still, she still deserves it. Correct. And I think if anybody's you know making money off of you know beating one, beating her up number one, and now making money in this sport, it's because of her. Because before her, nobody really gave a shit. No, I mean it was it was kind of yeah, like when uh, Lita and Trish Stratus came to wrestling. Like they were the first like, <laughs> yeah. good women wrestlers in a right. long time. And it was like, mm-hmm. oh, you can be hot and talented. What right. do you know? So yeah. we'll see what she does against Nia Jax. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming up this Sunday, That's only a, on pay-per-views. That's a big mother jammer. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, and finally, Gronk bet on his own horse, which is named Gronkowski. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you think? Of course he betted. Betted? He bet $69. 69, <laughs> yeah. dude. His favorite number. <laughs> And one oh no nine hundred and fifty dollars oh shit from his sixty nine total Gronk thing yeah <laughs> and he told all his friends to go bet bet sixty nine dollars as well so his whole group each won uh, nine hundred fifty dollars damn off of betting on Gronkowski so yeah S- sounds like a safe bet it's it's so Gronk yeah, yeah. No there's nothing more That's Gronk than Gronk, that story yeah. That's, That's crazy yep. the Gronkiest story I wonder how many like bets he's done where it didn't work out like that. He doesn't care. I know, yeah, that's no true. kidding. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. If I was part of his crew, I'm like, dude, we didn't win, like, the last 12 times. Like, why <laughs> yeah. should I believe you now? And then they, they won. Right. You'd be the one guy who's like, I'm not going to go yeah, for this That's time. it, Gronk. And then everybody wins. You're like, <laughs> yeah. shit, fuck. Uh, that's it for sports. <laughs> Old time you were of the week. Driggle draggle. Mm-hmm. Driggle draggle. Driggle draggle. Mm-hmm. It's an untidy woman. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, a wow. driggle draggle. Yeah, so stay away from that driggle no draggle kidding, at the bar. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. You got some driggle draggle, babe. How, yeah. How am I? No, no driggle no, draggle. <laughs> Gross. Now, yeah. let, let's go the opposite of driggle draggle. Show. Ooh. There's nothing better than a babe with craft beer. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. Mm-hmm. Her name is Tiffany. You can find her on the Instagrams at the awesome Tiff T I F F. No spaces, no underscores. Oh, Maybe you, Scott Tiffany. can find it. Love thank it. you. Love yes, it. Uh, the awesome Tiff on Instagram. This picture right here. She's hanging out at Track Seven Brewing up in NorCal. Uh, Track Seven putting out some good beers, and uh, she is bringing some light to the brewery. That is for sure. Oh, show. It's classiest way I could say that she's hot. Uh, <laughs> is that what that meant? I guess so. Is that one of our uh, words of the week? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you didn't know. So anyways, go follow Tiffany at the Awesome Tiff on Instagrams <laughs> and uh, give her a follow and, and say what's up. All right, we got a listener email oh, shit. to the unfiltered gentleman at gmail.com. Hmm. The subject, cocktail time. Oh. Hey, gents. Thanks for always putting out the fun shows to keep me entertained while I'm driving to work. And congrats on the 100. Oh, thank you. Though he uh, he typoed. It says 1,000. I assume he means 100. <laughs> He's drunk. Seriously, and He's driving. A true listener. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest fan. 
I know you guys are real gentlemen and therefore would never drink those girly cocktails yeah. like Cosmopolitan's. Oh, God. No. You're right. Please. But how about some good whiskey cocktails here and there that mm-hmm. you could give us the recipe for and try on the show? Just a thought. Cheers, Cody. Hmm. Well, Cody, I'm not totally against that idea. I'm not either, although yeah. I kind of feel like a true gentleman drinks it neat. Yeah. Hey, that could be a cocktail. What'd you mm-hmm. add to your whiskey? Ice cube. That's right. That's a cocktail right there. <laughs> so uh, in honor of Cody, I'm thinking maybe we start doing like a monthly cocktail review or something. I don't sure. want to do it every show because uh, there's a lot of beer to be drank. There's a lot. A lot there's, of beer. There's only three of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, we're doing the Lord's work. And yeah. That's right. We can do the best we can. So okay. Yeah. But I'm thinking maybe uh, we start doing like a monthly cocktail. None of that sugary cosmopolitan crap. Correct. But like whiskey cocktails and yeah. and that kind of stuff, sure. you know, like whiskey manly and cocktails, ice. yeah, manly stuff. Yes, and, okay, uh, you know, like maybe like a. You guys ever had a Kentucky Mule um, drink? Okay. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Moscow Mule, but with whiskey instead of gross vodka. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. It's pretty delicious, and you go heavy handed on well, like bourbon, and you go heavy handed on the booze, and and it's quite tasty. So cool. Uh, thank you, Cody, for emailing in. It's a good idea. We'll we'll work on that for you. Uh, if you guys want to send us an email, theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. All right. We have our treat yourself <laughs> bullpen beer to get oh. to, and we got some news. So how about I read a story while everyone pours the beer? <laughs> Sounds good. Because we didn't time that out well. Oh, man. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. So this one might be affecting Scott. Wait, what? Yeah. Uber Uh-oh. Oh boy. has applied for a patent that would detect drunk passengers. Oh, they yeah. Need a, they need an app for that? Right. <laughs> isn't it Are the, you kidding me? Isn't the fact that you're calling Uber a yeah, sign that you're I, a drunk passenger? I thought that was the purpose really? of Uber. Yeah. I don't think I usually call Uber when I'm sober. Yeah. That, yeah. You know what? Honestly, I saw that and I, I'm like, that's kind of the purpose of Uber. Right. So they say they're going to have like an app, or within the app, they'll track your movements, like your thumb movements yeah. and such, and they'll be able to tell like if you're That's scary. slowing down, and they're also going to like track your location, which they already do anyways, but like right. back it up to your location, and then you can see like, oh, this guy's super slow, and he's right outside a bar. So hey, he's hang on. This is for the passenger, him. right? This is to see if the passenger's drunk. Okay, yeah. okay. You're safe. <laughs> so what are you yeah. supposed to do if you're drunk? Well, here's the thing. They can still come pick you up, but now they have the... Or not now, but if this goes through, they will potentially have the ability to cancel your ride. Well, yeah, I guess they're supposed to... Oh, okay, well, I know this person's drunk, so um, yeah. be careful. It's not going to make a difference for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess part of it is uh, people are claiming that they're getting really hammered and then being uh, assaulted by their Uber drivers because they're I hammered. <laughs> and also, people are getting hammered and puking in the back of Uber cars right and then uber i think what is it like 250 bucks each time that happens uber Something has to pay like that. Out, yeah so, yeah um dan's gonna pour some beverage over there but i i don't i uh, i don't know it's kind of yeah for something like that i guess but um i mean you can tell pretty much right away yeah now let me ask you this if you drove up to somebody who was super hammered and like could see that they were stumbling and hammered and you're like god they're gonna puke in my car could you cancel the ride and not be penalized for it um i could yeah Okay. You, could you like put in there like dude was crazy drunk or something? I'm trying to think what the options are. I could decline the ride. Mm-hmm. You can. There's another, and and then you have to you know type in what oh. the reason was. Yeah. For that. So he looked too much like me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's acting way too much like me. So yeah. it's like this guy couldn't um, drive us home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he didn't know where he was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like a quick story. I had a friend who. Who did that? Who drew, you know, pulled up to a bar? Yeah. And the girl walked up to the car. There's some guy over in the bushes throwing up. Oh, no. And the girl walked up to the car and said, My boyfriend will be here in just a second. No, he won't. And, <laughs> and, yeah, the, that's what she said. She goes, Is that your boyfriend over there? And yeah, you're not going to take us. She's like, No, nah, get a taxi because yeah. I'm not going to take you. Not dealing with that shit. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So I, yeah, you, you can. I mean, I've, I've taken a lot of drunks home. I've, I've, I've been, never had him, you know, like sloppy throw up or anything like that. I've been real drunk in the back of a bunch of Ubers. Knock on wood. Yeah. True right. that. I, I, I've I said remember. I like jazz music before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had a good 12-minute conversation oh, about how much 
you dug jazz. Yeah, that guy's you like the shit out of that like, jazz. Dude, this guy is drunk. Yeah, I think he was buying it, or I was so drunk I thought he was buying it. One or the other. I think we were so drunk we thought he was, but he was totally just fucking around with me. Probably he probably was. The old man yeah. was probably fucking with you. That's right. Because uh, <laughs> I was in the back seat just losing my shit. I was cracking up, and I, I'm sure I thought I was much quieter than I was, but I was probably oh, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are cracking up, man. Yeah. I remember that much. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember what you're talking about. No, I have no idea what I said. And why are they uh, laughing? Yeah, Jesus. All right, before we move on to more stories, we we've passed the beer around. Let's uh, let's treat ourselves to some bullpen beer. Uh, ooh, Hit where, the music. Where is the music? There we go. <laughs> Three words for you: treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> calls to the bullpen for beer. Beer. All right, this time. I think we can all agree on this one. Oh, no. There it is. Okay. Hundo. I don't know if I ever said the burp word, did I? Oh, you didn't? I don't <laughs> no. know. There yeah, it is. Now. There it is. I, I just said it. I can't remember. I've had a <laughs> you few make years. sure to make note of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are now drinking, to everyone's delight, Firestone Walker's Sukaba 2018. Ooh, man. Boom. Yes. It's a barrel aged barley wine, 12%, 31 IBUs. Oof. A 4.52 on Beer Advocate and a 4.31 on Untapped. Yeah, this is not good. I'm going to pour this out. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll take it for you. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll drink this. I'll, okay, I'll drink it. I'll suffer it down. Yeah. From Firestone, they say, confoundingly good. unpronounceable yet eminently drinkable. Welcome to Sukaba, an epic barrel-aged English barley wine whose original name was undone by a two-bit legal challenge. Big, boozy bourbon and American oak aromas combined with soft, chocolatey malt undertones Complex malt flavors are framed in oak with hints of dark chocolate, vanilla, tobacco, coconut, and just a touch of dark cherry. Doesn't mm. that sound delicious? I'm getting turned man. on already. That's right, oh, man. Yeah. Sukaba is built to last and can age for years to come. We recommend counting the years with an abacus. After taking a year off, and this is about this one specifically, 2018. After taking a year off, Sukaba returns for a curtain call in 2018. As always, the latest vin- vintage delivers big, boozy bourbon. And American oak aromas combined with soft chocolate malt undertones. Complex malt flavors are framed in oak. This all sounds familiar. It's a beer built to last and one that will reward careful cellaring for years to come. We highly recommend counting the years once again with an abacus. The reason they keep saying that. Right. And they talk about the uh, the two-bit legal challenge. Yes. So when we were at the Firestone Brewery mm-hmm. last summer, we did the, the tour there. Mm-hmm. They were telling us that originally this was called Abacus. Oh, really? And there was a wine named Abacus. Oh. And they, they couldn't, so they had some issues. In fact, if you find the original bottle, it's called Abacus. They, oh, shit. They did put some out as Abacus. I think it was 2011. If you read Sukaba backwards... It spells ah. <laughs> now I get it. Abacus. So yeah. So just to kind of be dicks, they turned the name around and, and kept going. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Sukaba instead of Abacus. Good for um, them. Yeah. yeah. Keeping like the it. name. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, mostly keeping the name. Almost sounds like Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. Yeah, from Anger Management. Some stupid Mister D. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just stand in front of the mirror when I drink it. There you go. Yeah. I don't know about you, gentlemen. But I love the shit out of it. Oh, are you it's kidding me? Stuff. Are it's you kidding? Delicious. Like, yeah, I mean, you taste all that, like in that description right there where they're talking about the oaks, the malt, the chocolate. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. It is. And I legit get a little hint of cherry in there, too. Do you really? Yeah. Like I'm going to have to re- revisit here. <laughs> revisit. Let it sit in your mouth for a little bit and warm up, like on your tongue. A little bit. Little now bit. that I'm kind of just smelling I it. Smell, I smell. Yeah, right? I can smell coconut, but I don't. I don't really taste it. I agree. I do not taste the coconut. Yeah. And maybe that's just like my, be... my mind trying to block out the coconut since uh-huh. I'm allergic but, to it. But yeah. uh, I do smell the coconut. I don't taste it. You can almost smell the cherries a little bit. Yeah. A you can. A little, yeah. little bit. I'm just thinking maybe it's the combination of other smells that makes you smell the coconut. Maybe. Oh, my God. You know, now that it's been a minute since I've had some in my mouth. Uh-oh. Uh, hey, now. <laughs> I'm starting to get like the toastiness of a coconut. But you're not, your tongue's not swelling. Not that. Not <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> um, yeah, I love all of Firestone's barrel aged oh, no program. Uh, Sukaba included. The first barrel age I had from them was Sticky Monkey, and that started my very expensive habit of Firestone Walker barrel age program. So uh, if you guys find yourselves a 2018 Sukaba, please pick it up. 
You can find them. They, you know, they now do the twelve ounce thing. Yes, it would be somewhere between uh, nine and twelve dollars, depending on what store you're at. Uh, usually, I find them for ten bucks at our local Trader Joe's. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So make sure. And this one, I had to go to a specialty shop because TJ's is out. Oh, really? This oh, one's like twelve bucks. But uh, yeah, Ooh. make sure that you are treating yourself. No to some Sakata. Three words for you: treat yourself. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. And pick up an extra one. Our address is <laughs> correct. <laughs> exactly. And thank you, Tom. Um, all right. Stone has dropped No Effects and their partnership. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next week on the show, originally I had planned that we were going to have the uh, Stone No Effects Pumpkin Drublick Beer Lager. Oh thing. yes, correct. And we're going to do a show about lagers. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Stone has given the boot to No Effects because they said some kind of shitty things. Oh, wow. Yeah. During their set at the Punk Rock Bowling and Music Festival in Las Vegas uh, last Sunday. First of all, bowling festival, you guys. Really. <laughs> Uh, no effects made jokes about the horrific Route 91 Harvest Festival shooting on October 1st that left 58 dead. They they said, "I guess you only get shot in Vegas if you're a country band." Oh, <sighs> at least they were country fans and not punk rock fans. Damn! Wow, yeah. that's a little shitty. Yeah, especially even, in Vegas. Yeah, even for a punk band. Right, and I watched the video. And the funny part about it was they said it, and the whole crowd was like, ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, even the crowd wasn't into it. Yeah. Um, so, like, the next day, Stone announced that uh, they were distancing themselves from the band. And, in fact, No Effects' own tour has distanced themselves from No Effects. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, they were off the tour that they were headlining. Oh, shit. Yes. So, uh, they released a statement that said what we said in Vegas uh, was and my thing just loaded <laughs> was shitty and insensitive and we we're all embarrassed by our remarks. But that's kind of one of those things that like just it's like saying like oh I you know you said the n word like oh yeah I didn't mean to. It's like why is that part of your regular vocabulary? Right. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah. like it kind of shouldn't be and and neither should talking about people who just died at a concert. That's kind of correct. Kind of shitty. No effects. Good on you. Yeah. So uh, we mm-hmm. won't be drinking that next. What week. are you? Some kind of trashy sports show or something? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> who would do that? Come on. Who would do that? <laughs> Shit. Right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. It's shitty. Correct. Uh, Green Flash. Hmm? We talked about their struggles as of late and being sold to investment yes. bankers. and Uh-huh. Well, they've hired a new exec, which was interesting because for a while they're keeping on their CEO as CEO, but apparently not anymore. They've they've hired former Anheuser-Busch executive, <laughs> Uh-oh. Michael Taylor, as All their right. new CEO. Nice. So uh, I guess they thought he could come in and turn things around or something. Mike the Tool Man Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know him? <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Idio. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how that uh, works ooh, for them. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst. Pretty um, much, yeah. Ghost Train Brewing. I've never had these guys, but this story caught my attention. Has released a 99-calorie light lager. Mm-hmm. Are they going after that MGD crowd or what? Holy <laughs> crap. Yeah, it has, uh, like I said, 99 calories, only 4% alcohol, uh. and 5 grams of carbs. Hmm. Look, I enjoy a good session beer. I love having a tasty beer that's lower ABV because I can just drink it all day and still somewhat function. Okay. But uh, this whole like low calorie, light. I mean, look, I try it. But uh, it sounds like you're, you're chasing after the Bud Light crowd. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. yeah. And what's the point, man? Like, you know, you're just you know what you're getting into when you're drinking beer, man. Let's let's just get into it. Yeah, no one's like, oh, I'm gonna have this diet beer, and lose yeah. some weight. Like, I, I but I'm gonna go know. to this great burger place, but I want a vegan vegetable burger. <laughs> yeah, you know that that veggie burger didn't touch meat, did it? Yeah, I know <laughs> on the grill. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, no, come on, yeah. you're going for a burger, get the burger, get in the beer, get some beer. Yeah. Get this man a beer. Get this man a beer. Uh, interesting implications for craft breweries around the country. President Trump may support ending the federal ban on marijuana. Huh. Yeah. Now, craft beer is already having to compete with marijuana to some extent mm. and uh, in the states that it's legal. So this could be quite interesting, leaving it up to the states to decide whether uh, weed's legal or not. Could uh, lower the occupancy of tasting rooms. 
That's true. Mm. Yeah, because you know, if you're just looking for a high and you don't care what it is, weed yeah. or beer, especially those same uh, dieters. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> weed is far less calorie and carbs. Than, uh, they're uh, gonna go for that. That's yeah. true. Jog down to the weed shop. Yeah, so <laughs> they are. <laughs> then jog back. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe. stumble back. Yeah. Oh man, I thought I jogged back. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> but I guess halfway back to get lost at like the Wendy's or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smash on some nuggets. Yeah. yeah. Sriracha sauce. I get one of those veggie burgers at Wendy's. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Only time you'd ever eat a Burger King chicken sandwich. <laughs> oh, fuck. I couldn't get that high, dude. <laughs> There's not enough weed in no, this No, fuck Burger King, man. <laughs> oh, dear. And finally, BrewDog seeks $10 million via crowdfunding campaign. Uh, less than a year ago, Brew... Ba- Brew... Bre- wow. BrewDog. The story is brought to you by BrewBound, but BrewDog... Oh, man. Uh, opened a $50 million U.S. production facility. Uh, it's a scr- Scottish craft beer company. Good Lord. Uh, and now they're embarking on a $10 million crowdfunding campaign to fund the U.S. expansion plans. This just sounds like throwing more money at money. Uh, I feel like they're never going to make any money at this point. Yeah. So, I don't know. Good luck, brew dog. <laughs> brew Dog. Brew something. Jeez. They do have like a hotel. That might be kind of cool. That was confusing. Yeah, that was a lot of words. <laughs> Big. And a lot of them were the Big same. words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that's true. They were the same indeed. I kept up I'll as give much. this as... man a beer. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, what? no, I was just going to say I kept up as much as I could. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Listeners are like, what? Uh huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. I think, uh, I think that's it for, for us. Yeah, yeah. We're good. It was, yeah. Yeah, it, take, if you're taking notes at home. Yes. Yes. It was nice to treat ourselves. Three words for you. Treat yourself. Yeah, yeah. Treat, treat yourself. Yep. I want to thank everyone for hanging out and for listening to Batch 100 and all the other 99 episodes we've put out. It would be interesting. Let us know if you have a favorite episode. Yeah. Yeah. It would be interesting. I still remember Batch 3 when we did the letters to our younger son. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> because Kobe wrote the letter to his younger son. Right. That's right. I thought that was a pretty good episode. Right. That was, yeah. That Fantastic. Was that was a good one. Those are some those, some fun letters. Yes, they were. Very fun. Yeah. If you guys haven't heard Batch 3, go back and listen to Batch 3 where we write letters to younger us. Yes. Uh, that was pretty good. And let us know if you have a favorite episode. It took me episode. hours because I had to write in stone. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah. Jizzle. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, funny. Man. I remember Scott's being very sad. Yeah, it was pretty yeah, serious and pretty sad. Yeah. Story, story of my life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nothing's changed. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I didn't they, know we were kidding about it. Right? <laughs> yeah. You just took story. it all seriously, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a poor man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go full Steve Martin. <laughs> <laughs> People need context for that. However, oh, I've been, have been called a jerk quite a bit. Yeah, some sure. jerk. He hates these cans. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for listening. Like I said, let us know if you have a favorite episode, a favorite batch along the way. Uh, you can tell your friends to find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com. Don't forget to uh, leave us a little rating on iTunes. Maybe we'll read it on the show. If you want to get a hold of us, it's theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. Our social medias are theunfilteredgentleman, except for Twitter, at unfilteredgents. Drunk dial us, please. Come on. 805-538-BEER-2337. Yep. Just leave us a little voicemail. No one's going to answer. I promise we'll go straight to voicemail. No, won't pick up. We won't pick up. Uh, and we'll bleep your name. Yeah. So, yeah. Unless you don't want it bleeped, you know. <laughs> yeah, if you say, hey, put my name in there. Yeah. So. yeah. We won't pick up because we're drunk, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in no state to talk. We have no <laughs> idea how to answer the phone at that time. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, please do that. What's that noise? <laughs> keep on listening, <laughs> and uh, make sure you're out there staying hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.